Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I am going to explore a new feature available with Odoo version 18 that is integrate your e-commerce with Gelato. So it is called Gelato, Gelato what, yeah, yeah, in different different countries. So yeah, I speak yeah, Gelato. So with Gelato how Odoo will work. So Odoo has given a nice documentation which I have followed and create my own store or account in Gelato. So in Gelato we have to you know like if I go to normal you know product catalog or store it will allow me to configure all this popular e-commerce store but yeah Odoo is not in this category. So what we have to do is we have to use the API connector and then in developer mode with this API documentation or you can say API keys I have generated one API key and then created a webhook inside Gelato where these all methods I have integrated with this predefined standard using the documentation. So this is my Udo trial store which is available over here and inside my instance I have installed all three Gelato plugins. So this Gelato plugin will create a bridge between you know Odoo and Gelato then if I go to this main app it will connect uh, API integration and product you know synchronization manually and then this is e-commerce which will pull or push the you know product to Gelato so inside Gelato once we are done with this particular webhook creation and API creation using the documentation the next step is to create a product so inside Odoo or first step is inside this Gelato your login you have to create a product or select a product so this three product I will show you how I have created but let's start with creating a new product so Gelato has many products with them so if I want to create any product like a hoodie for kids then I will pick let's say this particular product and then I will be able to create a predefined you know design and size variants over here so what I will do is I will use this particular predefined artwork available in gelato so anything you can do you can use from here and this is the window where you can add your personalized text and graphics once that is done you will go to continue mockups and then over here you can even download few of the images to use in your store and this will become your main image so if I want this as a primary image I can set this and let me download this to use on our Udo store so it is downloading all these images inside the Udo or inside my computer first and then I will upload into Udo so with this I am storing this particular image set in my machine and I will continue to next step once I am done I will see title and description over here with all this information and then I will create a new tag for my reference purpose and then I will say continue to set pricing now in pricing 
I want to sell in Indian rupees. So currently what I will do, I will add Indian rupees profile because my store is not officially connected. So every time I need to create a profile and then I can set profit margin over here. Uh, this is not working efficiently right now. Pricing is not passing to Odoo. But yeah, this is how we can add shipping cost in or out, you know. So this is how it will work. And then I will say I want to use INR. I will save template. And over here, I will copy this product name and store it somewhere. Let me save this. So my product is created in Gelato. Now, so this is the product. According to the user guide, I will copy this template ID and then I will move to product in Odoo inside sales. And then I will go to product list and create a new product. And I will, you know, give product name, which I have copied over here. Now in sales, you will see this gelato information where I need to use this template ID and paste it, save it and then click on synchronize. So it will fetch entire product with its general information with variant over here. Now you can see five variants have been created and then in order to publish my product, it will ask me to have one default image. So what I will do, I will go to my computer, which images I have downloaded. So over here, I will go here and this is the baby hoodies, which I have downloaded. I will extract it here and then pick which image I want to use. Yeah, so this is not the right one. Let me go and pick one good image. Okay, so this image I want to use as a default. And over here also, I can add one image over here. This one will be shown on my product page on Odoo. So this is how I am able to synchronize Gelato product to Odoo with this API integration and webhook method. Now if I go to my website, the product will look like this. Okay. So currently pricing is not coming in the picture yet I have created you know euro and INR pricing also but yeah nothing is uh, you know working in terms of pricing but yeah all other information about product has been fetched inside Odoo with all the variants so you can see variants are also created with size so this is how you can also synchronize your product from your gelato preferred templates in do via this particular method and start selling the gelato products apart from it when i go to the shipping method or delivery methods when i am done with that it will fetch both the you know standard delivery and express delivery method from gelato by default which we can use at the time of shipping this product or from over here see if i want to create a new order over here from my catalog Let's say I'm adding this and adding this and then if I confirm this product now it will go to Gelato. Yeah, this is the first time I am doing that but this is how the order has been created and posted to Gelato. Now inside my Gelato if I go to order, I will see this particular fulfillment is failed. Payment is cancelled because I haven't selected any, you know, method or anything over here. But yeah, I have got the order inside my, you know, Gelato login and then 
I will do to Needful once I will process the entire thing correctly configured. So this is how your manual orders can be get shipped or transferred to Gerardo. Now if I go to website, if I go to my shop page, these all products are from Gelato. I am adding this to part. So I have two products. Let me have one product to check out. This will be my billing address. Okay, now I will select standard delivery. But delivery will not work because I haven't set up entire you know configuration correctly in my gelato master setup. So this is how you can see the orders are there and then this order you know as an error because it wasn't through right and this is the draft order which I have just created. So if I add manual shipping method standard delivery it will definitely not match with anything because my configuration is incomplete but yeah this is how you can manually create your sales order inside Odoo right now and it will post it to Gelato and Gelato will definitely send an error message because it is not fulfilled because all the other information are you know postal code and it are not available over here okay so that's how you can now use Gelato with Odoo with this basic configuration setup manually. Hope this will help many uh, vendors who are into this particular uh, business of the you know article and designer uh, business where they have their vendors on Gelato or and they want to start creating products in Gelato and then offering on their Odoo e-commerce store. This is how they can set up their Odoo Gelato connecting setup. Thank you guys. Hope this will help. Thank you.